So I want something that can be gifted, can store gifts, and can be used every Christmas. Hmm. I've got it. Sometimes the best gifts are those that you can treasure forever. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own Christmas stocking. They're perfect for friends, family, and coworkers, pretty much anybody on your list. And what's great about them is they serve as a gift on their own and you can stuff them with additional goodies and surprises. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing that you'll wanna do is click on the link in the description box to get the free pattern that I have included for this tutorial. It will take you directly to my website, ask you a few questions, and then your pattern will be ready to download from the site and you will also get a copy delivered straight to your inbox. Once you've cut out all of the pieces, you'll want to tape them all together to form your stocking. A, B, and C will form the main part of your stocking while D and E will form the top trim. Next, you'll use a cutting mat and fabric of your choice to cut out your pattern. I decided to use the double-sided quilted cotton fabric for this project because I liked the contrast of the colors and the feel of the fabric. And just a quick tip here, I recommend placing something heavy over your pattern like sewing weights so that it doesn't move around while you're trying to cut it out. Be sure to stick around to the end for more about the sewing weights. I also find the rotary blade easier to use when cutting my fabric, but you can use a pair of scissors instead if that's what you're most comfortable working with. I've included the link to the rotary blade I'm using in this project in case you were looking for one to try. Now, I randomly got inspired to add two more pieces of fabric onto my stocking to make them look like patches, and I just eyeballed the measurement and cut my pieces out using a piece of scrap fabric. Another quick tip here, if you feel inspired and want to add or even remove something from the pattern that you're working with, do it. Just make sure that if you're removing anything, it isn't an essential part of the construction or structure of the entire piece as a whole. Otherwise, play around with it and make it your own. I used another piece of the black fabric to cut out my D pattern, and then I used some faux fur trim to cut out my pattern E. I used some clips to keep my pattern in place, and these are so great. I recommend that you have these in your craft space because they really do come in handy when you're sewing especially more delicate materials or even vinyl. In addition, I used a water erasable marker to trace the wavy part of my pattern, and I've linked both of these items in the description box for you as well. And now that we have all of our pattern pieces cut out, it's time to jump over to our sewing machine. First, I clip the little patches that I cut out for the bottom of my stocking and pattern D onto the front pattern piece. Just a quick tip here, sewing your decorative pieces on before sewing your stocking together will make it much easier and avoid you having to do it by hand. I used a white thread for contrast and I also used a zigzag stitch to make it even more fun looking. Then I place my fabric under the presser foot and stitched away. And just a friendly reminder to always add a back stitch to the start and finish of your seam so that the thread doesn't unravel. This is super important. You can learn a little bit more about that in one of my last videos where I showed you how to make a hand warmer. I'll be sure to link that video below as well. Now here I decided to cut around the patches so that they looked a little more imperfect and fringy. Next it was time to add the faux fur trim to the top, but since I didn't want it to have a raw edge, I first sewed it to the back side of the fabric, this time using a straight stitch, with a part of the trim that I want showing facing the gray side of the fabric. Then I flipped the trim over and clipped it down to keep it in place, and I used that stocking pattern piece to create a double fold at the top of the second pattern piece. Once the fold was created, I took it to my sewing machine and added a straight stitch at the top for a nice finished edge. Now it was time to clip the entire stocking together. You can stitch both pieces together using your sewing machine, but I decided to use my serger instead because I like how it cuts and stitches a nice clean edge. And here I used the black thread for the contrasting color on the inside. Just a quick tip, if using the serger, it can be difficult to get your top edges lined up just right, so it may be easier to start from the bottom and work your way up. That tends to do the trick for me when working with multiple layers. Here we go. All right. Now this Christmas, we're gonna dance. We're gonna okay. dance, 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 dance. Come on. Dance. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. Have a good time. Dance, dance, dance. All night long. 
Now you can turn your stocking inside out to see the end result, except here's when I realized that I forgot to include a little loop in the pattern, but that was an easy fix. All I did was cut a two by eight piece of black fabric. I folded it in half long ways and I ran it through my serger. Then I turned it inside out and folded the strip in half, then passed it through the serger again to create my loop. Then I attached the loop to my stocking with a few straight stitches on the inside of the stocking. And then I added a few more from the outside of the stocking, but just slightly higher. All right, so for those of you that are interested in making those sewing weights, be sure to check out the link below because I've included one for the hand warmers. And there you'll be able to learn how to backstitch and you will also be able to use that very same pattern to make your sewing weights. And as always, for more DIY inspiration, you can check out this link right over here. And I received a comment in one of my last videos about my dance party at the end. This comes from one of my youngest supporters. His grandpa says that he absolutely loves Loved it. So we're ending this video with a dance party as well. This one's for you. I'm Ellie Lee with Ellie Lee Designs and until the next one. Bye.